Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two triangles. The triangle uh, ABC and the other triangle uh, ADF put together, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AF equals to this segment uh, FB. The segment uh, AC is being represented by 2 times A whereas this tiny segment uh, CD is uh, lowercase a and moreover uh, this uh, tiny segment uh, CE is uh, 3 units whereas uh, this segment uh, EB is being represented by X and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X in other words we are going to calculate uh, this segment uh, EB length Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We are going to solve this given problem by using the Menelaus uh, theorem. And I will uh, explain the Menelaus uh, theorem and its flowchart as we go along. And since we are dealing with these uh, two triangles, the triangle uh, ABC and the other uh, triangle uh, ADF. So therefore we are going to explore uh, two cases for uh, Menelaus theorem. So therefore in our case one we are going to focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. I'm going to keep it as a green uh, triangle. In other words uh, this uh, green triangle ABC is our uh, principal uh, triangle and this point uh, D is uh, our extended point. Then our uh, Menelaus uh, theorem flowchart always uh, starts from this uh, extended point. In other words we are going to go from uh, this point uh, D to C and furthermore we're gonna go from D to this point uh, A as well and then we're gonna travel from uh, A to this point uh, F and then uh, point F to point uh, B and then we're gonna go from uh, B to E and then E to C and we are going to stop at this point. So therefore let me go over once again we're gonna go from uh, D to C and then from uh, D to A so let me go ahead and write down the ratio of the side lengths uh, DC and then uh, the side uh, DA times then we're going to travel from uh, A to F and then F to B so therefore our uh, ratio of these side lengths is going to be AF and then uh, FB times and then we're going to travel from uh, B to E and then uh, E to C and then we are going to stop at this point uh, C. So therefore I can write the ratio of uh, B E and uh, E C and this whole thing is going to be equal to 1. And now let's focus on case 2 and we are going to consider this green triangle ADF this time. In other words uh, in this uh, case 2 this uh, green triangle ADF is going to be our principal uh, triangle and this uh, point B is our extended point. Then our flow chart is going to start from this uh, extended point uh, B. In other words, we're going to go from uh, this point B to F and then we're going to go from uh, B to this point A. Then as usual, we're going to go from uh, point A to point C and then from point C to point uh, D. And then we're going to travel from uh, point D to point E and finally from point E to point uh, F and we are going to stop at this point F. So let me go over once again. We're going to start off from point B to point uh, F and then uh, from point B to point A. So therefore our ratio is going to be the side lengths uh, of uh, B, F uh, and uh, B, A times 
then we're going to go from this point uh, a to c and then from c to d so therefore our ratio is going to be a c and c d times and finally we're going to go from point d to point uh, e and from e to point uh, f and that's our uh, terminal point so therefore we are going to have a ratio of uh, d e and uh, e f is always going to be equal to one so thus we are ended up with these uh, two cases case one and case two and for both of these cases whenever we complete our flow chart this must be equal to one and likewise uh, when we multiply all these ratio this must be equal to one as well now let's make an observation we can see this uh, segment a f equal to this segment uh, f b in other words if i label uh, this segment as uh, lowercase y then this segment has got to be lowercase y as well and we know that this uh, segment uh, AC is 2 times A and this segment uh, CD is uh, lowercase a. The segment uh, EB is uh, X and this uh, tiny segment uh, CE is uh, 3. However, uh, the ratio of these uh, two segment lengths uh, DE and uh, EF are uh, unknown we are talking about the ratio in this case uh, to d e and e f is uh, unknown so therefore we are going to rule out uh, this case too and we are going to reject it and we are going to apply this uh, case one on our this given problem and so therefore we are going to accept it and now let's focus on this uh, segment uh, d c length we know d c length is lowercase a so i'm going to replace that one with lowercase a how about uh, da we know da this whole length is going to be a plus 2a is going to make it uh, 3 times a so therefore this uh, da length uh, is going to be 3 times a our this uh, af segment length uh, is y so i'm going to replace that one with y and likewise uh, fp length is uh, once again uh, y as well and finally our uh, BE length uh, is being represented by X and this uh, EC length uh, is 3 units so I'm going to replace that one with 3 units over here and now we can see this A and A cancels out likewise Y cancels out with Y as well so this uh, A divided by 3A reduces to simply 1 divided by 3 y divided by y reduces to just simply 1 and finally this is going to be simply x divided by 3 as you can see in this uh, next step after we have simplified each and every term so let's multiply so that is going to give us uh, x divided by 9 equals to 1 and now i'm going to multiply both sides by 9 to isolate uh, x so i'm going to multiply with 9 on the right hand side as well and here we can see this 9 and 9 is uh, gone so therefore our x value turns out to be simply 9 units so thus our x value turns out to be 9 units in other words this uh, x value is going to be equal to 9 units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.